good morning everyone in this video we are going to be talking about the gluteal region so the gluteal region overlies the back and side of the lateral half of the pelvis extending superiorly from the iliac crest to the gluteal folds below medially they also extend from the mid dorsal line to the imaginary line between the anterior superior iliac spine and the greater trochanter now the gluteal region is covered by skin superficial fascia and the deep fascia the deep fascia here is the gluteal fascia and this fascia is thickened to form two important ligaments at two points namely the sacrotuberous and sacrospinous ligament going deeper we have the muscles of the gluteal region the gluteal region has 10 muscles of which the four are considered the major muscles and six minor muscles the major muscles are gluteus maximus gluteus medius gluteus minimus and tensa fasciae lata now the gluteus maximus is a fan shaped large muscle of the gluteal region taking its origin from the ilium sacrum and coccyx to be inserted into the iliotibial tract being supplied by the inferior gluteal nerve the gluteus maximus is the chief extensor of the hip joint now underneath the gluteus maximus we have the gluteal minimus then below the gluteus medius we have the gluteus minimus the gluteus medius and minimus also take their origin from the posterior surface of the ilium to be inserted into the greater trochanter on the lateral surface with this insertion they act as the abductors of the hip joint and also the medial rotators now they are supplied by the superior gluteal nerve coming to the last muscle that is the tensa fascia lata the tensa fascia lata also takes its origin from the ilium and gets inserted into the iliotibial tract being supplied by the superior gluteal nerve the action of the tensa fascia lata is supporting the femur on the tibia during the standing position now moving on to the minor muscles we have the piriformis muscle here piriformis muscle is considered the key muscle of the pelvic region then we have the superior and inferior gamelae above and below the obturator muscle and its tendon then we have the quadratus femoris muscle with this the muscles of the gluteal region are covered now we are going to go to the arteries and nerves of the gluteal region now let's take a look at this picture this is a cross section at the level of the hip joint here you can see the superior and inferior gluteal artery above and below the piriformis muscle then we have the nerves of the gluteal region which are the superior gluteal nerve inferior gluteal nerve sciatic nerve nerve to quadratus femoris apart from that we have the pudendal nerve we have the perforating cutaneous nerve of thigh and posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh now coming to the clinical correlation the most important one is the intramuscular injection now the gluteal region is divided into four as the upper outer upper inner lower outer and lower inner region the intramuscular injection is given at the upper outer quadrant in the gluteus medius muscle now the next one is sciatic nerve block which is given by the anesthetist then we have the piriformis syndrome where the entrapment of sciatic nerve occurs because of the hypertrophy or spasm of the piriformis muscle now the last one is the tendelenburg test so in this picture as you can see when the foot is off the ground the gluteus medius and minimus of the opposite side contracts which prevents the sagging of the pelvis on the unsupported side that is this side so what happens if the gluteus medius and minimus muscle are actually paralyzed they do not support and this results in sagging of the pelvis on one side because of the weight of the limb with this the gluteal region is over thank you